Hello guys, my name is Ronald Griffin for ArtificialAnimation.com and in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at creating a fisheye lens effect on top of your 2D or stock footage like this. Okay, so hopefully from that example you could see that um, the edges of the image uh, were sort of bent and the, um, the center point was sort of bulging towards your face. Um, now let me just briefly explain what a, a fisheye is. Uh, this image, um, actually I'm not sure if this is superimposed, but this is a good example of fisheye. Uh, a fisheye lens is basically a lens with a very, very low focal length, um, which means it gets more into the frame. And conventionally, uh, we could actually see, uh, when a fisheye image was taken, we could actually see parts of the lens inside the lens in the actual image. But of course nowadays we have much more advanced technology, um, we have better lenses, better glass, all sort of stuff and uh, typically if you've ever seen a fisheye lens it'll actually be protruding out the front of the lens. Um, the, the actual element will be sticking out. It'll be sort of like a bubble. Anyway, uh, this can be quite fun to do uh, in After Effects or, or with anything you're working on and from the example you saw you could see here, uh, let me get a good point, right here we can see we have this very charming text and uh, uh, around the edges we can see it's sort of bulging and, and twisting and you can see it's it's pretty good quality I mean I've not lost uh, any resolution I've not lost any pixels anything like that it's um, it's just really good um, and I think it made a great addition to this uh, specific project I was making so without further ado let's uh, go and jump right into how to create this so it doesn't really matter what you're working with um, if you're working with Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, anything, if you're just compositing and you are doing some of it in After Effects, maybe you even want this effect and that's why you have After Effects, um, then it shouldn't be any problem. Now I'm going to show you two examples, one's with uh, just a, a very, very bad scene I've set up here in After Effects and one's with some, uh, with some real footage I shot. So example one, uh, now in this example we've just got a 3D scene, we've got uh, two text layers, a camera, you know, a background and a light. So to actually go ahead and apply what's uh, known as the fisheye uh, sort of effect to this, we want to go ahead and pre-compose or move this into another layer because we don't want to be applying a fisheye sort of warp to one on one layer. That's not how this is going to work. It's going to work um, on one layer. So you could either highlight all of this, go to layer, pre-compose, or we could simply take this example one comp and drop it into another composition. Um, so I'll go composition, new composition, and I'll make one that is uh, 1280 by 720, 24 frames per second, click OK. And now all I have to do is uh, take my example one comp and drag it in here. So now I've got everything going on um, from example one, um, only you know this is sort of where I'm going to be compositing it. So if I make a change here, for example if I change the color, you know, it affects everything um, rather than if I were to just change the color for the background in this layer. Um, or in this composition rather, then you know it would just change that color whilst here it affects um, sort of everything. So anyway, the point is we want just one layer to work with. Uh, so to actually apply this, the effect is called Bezier Warp and you can either go to Effects and Presets and search for Bezier Warp or you could just go to Effect, my apologies, didn't select, Effect, Distort and Bezier Warp, that is the effect. Um, now you can see we've got these uh, these handlebars in the uh, well basically the edge of our footage and we simply want to well first of all we want to up the quality from 8 to 10 uh, I just do that anyway and with the Bezier Warp effect selected that's how you get the handlebars you want to just drag in uh, each edge should be dragged in so you can see we are warping essentially the pixels um, and then we've got more handlebars here uh, to sort of smoothen that out smoothen the edges and every change you make really affects the final result so this is something you should probably spend at least a few minutes on so let's say I'm happy with that obviously we've created a rather big problem for ourselves because we have this black uh, sort of border and like I said in some fisheye lenses you can actually see the inside of the lens element but even if we were to create that you know in real life a uh, real image would not look like this so either way we're gonna have to clean this up um, now the way, well you could do this many ways, but the way I'm going to do it and the reason I'll explain now is because all of what we've created here is purely from After Effects, it's inside After Effects. Um, 
uh, which means that uh, we can go ahead and change the resolution in here and play around with all of that without having to lose any uh, sort of pixel quality. If you, as soon as you add other things to it, like stock footage, um, real footage, you know, obviously increasing real footage beyond its limitation um, will degrade the quality slightly. So if we had something that shot at 1280 um, by 720 and we went ahead and scaled that up by 20%, We'd lose the black edges, but we would also be stretching the pixels. Um, it's not really that noticeable though, and I will I'll go, sh go ahead and show you in a second. But um, for this specific thing, we can actually just go ahead and make a quick solution for ourselves. So the important thing to remember is to work with a higher resolution than you're actually gonna be rendering at, if you're going to apply this. So here we have example one. If we go into the composition settings, we'll see that the resolution is 1280 by 720, which means if we're in comp one and we decide to scale this up by 20%, we get rid of it, but we also see some degrade in quality. So to fix this, very simple. We go into example one, go to composition, new composition, and make this 1920 by 1080, that's 1080p instead of 720. Click okay, and now things will break. Um, you know, you should know how to fix these things if you are working with something advanced in After Effects. A simple way for a solid is just right click, transform, fit to comp. Um, but anyway, you want to fix up your scene or start working from scratch in a higher resolution if you know you're going to be applying this. So back to comp two. Here we are. Example one. Um, you can see we've now got this much larger. So if we actually scale this down, we're scaling down now. Um, you can see we've got the black edges, uh, but of course, if we're you know scaling to just 80%, which is smaller, but in fact equal to what we had earlier, um, we can see there's no degrading quality, and yeah, you know, it's pretty much perfect. Um, and of course, you you can continue to play around with it, and uh, and uh, a, a good way to show off exactly how well this uh, bulges is to just uh, create a 3D square. Not my most creative idea, but bear with me. All right, so we've got this beautiful 3D square here. And if we go back into comp two, we can see the square is not a square. It is, uh, it is in fact deformed, shall we say. It's been warped. And that is a, basically what this effect is. And like I said, you can tweak this all you want. Um, you can actually pull off some pretty funky stuff. So let's say you don't even care about that. Let's say you have some real footage and you just want some quick fish eye. Um, here we are. This is some footage I shot. Uh, no, I'm not the lady and no, I'm not the man. Um, this is some, some footage I shot and, and we'll just be showing you uh, how to apply it to some footage. So as you can see here, the composition itself is 1280 by 720 again, but this footage was shot in 1080p, which means it's already been downscaled. We're at 69% here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the effect, effect, distort, bezier warp, and I'm going to just chuck on some quick fish eye. 20 years ago, people would kill to uh, be able to just do it this quickly. And of course, it's not perfect. It doesn't it doesn't look uh, as good as the real thing, but it does sell the uh, the shot in some cases. So we've got the fish eye. Now, what do we do? Well, of course, we're already scaled down from working with it earlier. We simply have to scale it up. And let's say um, you know you're already you started at 100 percent, then. You know, you should you should have this footage that's much larger than the composition. Then you just scale it down a bit, um, and then as soon as you start seeing black uh, sort of uh, edges, then you you can simply scale it back up. So it's worth keeping in mind that you know this isn't perfect, and uh, it does take a bit of playing around with. Um, you don't have to be as extreme as what I am here in the edges. I mean, you you really don't have to scale it up or down that much. Um, I'll give you a quick example. Let's say we don't want to lose any quality. Um, well, we don't want to lose any resolution, so it's originally shot in 1080p, and we want to keep 1080p. A quick example would be here that we'd have to stretch the image, and by stretch I mean actually scale it up above what we shot it in. So we are, you know, we are essentially stepping up the resolution, and obviously, <clears throat> as you can see here, we are losing some quality as opposed to um, 100%. So obviously, that, those are things to keep in mind, but generally, it works out pretty well. Um, so I hope you learned something from this, and uh, keep in mind, I will be doing tutorials every Monday now, uh, my new uh, 2013 re resolution, uh, I suppose. 
So if you do enjoy tutorials and uh, if you think this has helped you, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe if you're really generous, if you're in the mood. Um, check out my channel. I've got some other, you know, AE tutorials on there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. See you next time.